the KSHB 41 Weather Academy. Here's Wes Peary. Welcome to this edition of Weather Academy. I'm meteorologist Wes Peary. And I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look of how we forecast snow amounts here. So we call this the snow to liquid ratio and it has to do with what your air temperature is versus how much moisture you have to create snow. In this instance, we have about three tenths of an inch of liquid. Our snow ratio is 10 to one. So that means you do 0.32 times 10 and it gives you 3.2 inches of snow. Now let's go a little bit deeper. Talk about the snow to liquid ratios. It all has to do with what your air temperature is and the sweet spot to get the most snow out of the amount of liquid is right when the temperature is just above zero degrees Fahrenheit. You can see it increases until about zero and then it starts to actually go down once you get to about negative 22. So let's take another example here. Let's say you have a tenth of an inch of rainfall forecast and your air temperature is 28 degrees. That'll give you a snow ratio of 10 to 1. You do that math and look at that, an inch of snowfall forecast. Let's say the temperature is even colder. It's 15 degrees outside while it's snowing. That gives you a ratio of about 20 to 1 with the exact same amount of liquid. You now have two inches of snowfall. It starts to get really tricky though when you put in different model forecasts. And let's say one model has an inch of rain, another model has two inches of rain. Now there's three inches of rain. If we were to tell you the middle of spring, oh, one to three inches of rainfall. And if it rains two inches, well, you're not really going to notice a huge difference. But if we say oh, 10 to 30 inches of snowfall, that's a gigantic difference in snowfall forecast. But that's what we're dealing with. The margin of error is so much smaller with snow than it is for rain. Because we're trying to figure out not just how much liquid there's going to be, but what the temperature is while it's snowing, because even the temperature will fluctuate. And sometimes you have a ratio of 10 to 1 whenever the snow starts. And by the time you're halfway through your snowstorm, it's 20 to 1. So that's why snowfall forecasts are pretty much a moving target. The KSHB 41 Weather Academy. Join our Facebook group today.